Tyndall Air Force Base is continuing its rebuild. Thursday, the base held its rehearsal of concept drill. That is where all the mission's partners meet and discuss how they can work around each other to keep the mission moving with all the construction going on. New Channel 7's Marissa Jaray has the latest on the new project coming to Tyndall. Building back an Air Force Base is no easy project. And with over 40 projects happening at the same time, it takes coordination and practice. The purpose is to bring all of the, part, the, the mission partners on the base together to discuss the reconstruction of the installation and to go over the sequencing of construction events. Thursday, the base practiced by going through a rehearsal of concept drill, also called a rock drill. It helps identify ways to juggle new projects while maintaining smooth current operations at the base. We need to make sure that people get that word and understand what's going on so they can uh, keep the mission moving while we keep construction going. And construction is going. On the north side of Tyndall, you'll see lots of activity as they work toward building the base of the future. During the rehearsal of concept drill, they discussed many projects, one of them being the F-35 complex, and that is a $604 million investment. Twelve facilities under contract by one contractor. We're focusing on Hangar 1, the SIM facility, and the apron so we can deliver the F-35 squadron. The base also has a 3D printed model of the complex to give a better idea of what it will look like when completed. Visual for them, um, and then they can kind of play around and picture in their head where they are going to be able to park their government vehicles, their wingtip clearance, and uh, we're using exercises of where they will be driving in, towing aircraft in and out. The project manager says they're using it right now to model traffic for the base exercises so they can identify problems before they start all with the goal of supporting the F-35 Lightning II fighters. That will start arriving in August. In Bay County, Marissa Jure, News Channel 7. The fighters will start arriving at the end of summer, but it will still take several years to complete the complex that will support them.